One of the mutant protagonists of Logan, X-23, is a female clone of Wolverine, aka James Howlett, aka Logan. She is genetically identical, meaning that she too has an advanced healing factor, an attitude problem, and bone claws that are now also covered in adamantium. She may be genetically identical, but I think that her claws are even more dangerous than Wolverine's, and I can prove it. X-23 is a victim of the revived Weapon X program, the same program that gave Wolverine his metal upgrade. After 22 failed attempts to clone Wolverine, Laura Kinney was created, adamantium and all, hence the name X-23. Not only did her sex change, so too did her number of claws. This is what makes her more dangerous than Logan. Giving X-23 two claws, ow, instead of three claws, Ho! Oh, was probably just a design choice to make her visually distinct from Wolverine. You know, this is still deadly and cool looking, but I think that this is a better cutting and piercing weapon than this because of how weapons cut and pierce. You know, if their healing factor allowed for some scar tissue, then retracting these wouldn't hurt every single time. It'd be like putting an earring in. Oh! Fuck! First, how do knives cut? Knives, blades, and claws maximize pressure, or a force acting over some area, and apply that pressure to a material whose ultimate tensile strength can't withstand the blades moving out of the way force. That's a technical term. This relationship between force and area means that a sharper blade, one with less area on the cutting edge, will apply more pressure under the same force. So making a knife or a blade or a claw better means reducing that area without compromising the blade structurally. However, you can't make adamantium blades any sharper than they already are after they're set, so you'll have to reduce area in a different way. Under the same force, fewer blades means more cutting power. Consider a fully grown X-23 and a fully grown Logan. I'm going to assume they swing with equal force because genetically they're the same person and that their adamantium blades are equally sharp because they were made by the same program. Now who has more cutting power? The mutant who is spreading that force over the least amount of area. While each of Wolverine's blades gets 33 percent of the total cutting force, each of X-23's blades gets 50 percent of the total cutting force. It makes a difference. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. I'm definitely splitting hairs here. Oh, thanks science. I think these blades could cut Superman's skin, but technically, Wolverine's blades are not as powerful as X-23's dual blade setup, and intuitively, you know this is true. The distribution of force over a larger area is the same reason why you can lay on a bed of nails, but not a single nail. More nails means more area means less pressure on the skin. And if there wasn't some scar tissue forming in the forearm, wouldn't every motion result in some cutting? Oh, damn you, science! Lest you think this bed of nails argument doesn't apply to long blades, this is something that's still done at sideshows. She's laying on six swords, and you can bet that she would notice if there were only five, and if they were spaced further apart, like X-23's blades are in comparison to Wolverine's. Let's put some numbers to X-23's slicing superiority. On a previous episode, we estimated the cutting power of a single Wolverine blade, and we can use the same assumptions to evaluate two versus three blades. So first, I'm going to assume that the cutting force is like what a heavyweight boxer punches with, or 5,000 newtons. Second, the blade sharpness will be among the sharpest blades known to man, obsidian blades, just five nanometers thick. And finally, I'll assume that the blades are 25 centimeters long because they have to fit in both X-23 and Wolverine's forearms. According to these statics diagrams, each of Wolverine's three blades gets one third of the total cutting force, or 1,667 newtons, which means over the tiny super sharp blade edge, it creates 200 million PSI, which is admittedly 
Ridiculous, but these blades are supposed to be able to cut through anything, right? On the other hand, the blade setup for X23 means that she gets half of the total cutting force per blade, 2,500 newtons, resulting on the blade edge in 300 million PSI. That's 50% more pressure per blade and 30 times higher than the highest pressure of the best water jet cutter ever created. A swipe from two claws is more dangerous than a swipe from three claws, which implies that a swipe from one claw is even more dangerous. Wolverine can already do this, so doesn't that make his claw setup occasionally deadlier than X-23's? No. <laughs> X-23 has single claws on her feet and legs can kick twice as hard as hands can punch. So a single perfect swipe from one of these bad boys would impart more pressure than 20 times at the core of the earth. Yeah. So why are X-23's blades more deadly than Wolverine's? Because if you take the same force and apply it over a smaller area, it raises the pressure, which is how blades cut in the first place. It means that X-23's two blades will be cutting with more pressure per blade than Wolverine's will with his three claw setup. Of course, he could just switch to a single claw on each hand, but then again, Laura Kinney has single blades on her feet, which are stronger body parts, making her more deadly. They may be clones, but X-23 definitely has the edge. Because science. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at SciFile where you can suggest ideas for future episodes and on Instagram under the same handle where you can now see new little mini episodes of this show that I'm doing. Go check it out. I'll see you there. I'm, ne I'm not, we're not gonna be, be because of how light travels, we're not, I'm not gonna see you, but check it out. Thank you to Qualcomm for sponsoring today's show. Qualcomm and Lionsgate have joined forces to create a pretty cool VR experience based on the upcoming Power Rangers film. To celebrate, we're partnering to send three lucky winners to LA for the film's premiere on March 22nd. Each winner will also receive a Google Pixel phone and Daydream headset. Check out the link in the description to learn more and enter to win. Why does an X-23 have adamantium covering her entire skeleton? Well, that's pretty simple. If she had adamantium covering every bone, then her bones wouldn't be able to incorporate new nutrients and grow themselves, and she wouldn't be able to grow into a full human, and she'd be stuck in a, in a, in a baby state. What would probably happen is that she would die because her bones are not letting red blood cells out. But I guess you can have holes in the adamantium, but, but then you can't drill into the adamantium. Did they set it like that? What if you were doing...